Hello everyone, it's Chris with Expat Theory. Time for another little update. Hang on just a minute and we'll get right to it. All right, everyone. Welcome to Expat Theory. I'm Chris. Uh, if you're returning, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, appreciate you being here. Hopefully, you'll hit the likes and subscribe buttons. Oh, it's been a little bit crazy lately. Uh, I had scheduled some time off. I had planned on taking the 4th off and coming home to North Carolina and hanging out with the family. And the week before... <laughs> they scheduled me to take my truck into the shop for its uh, routine maintenance. Well, in the process of doing the routine maintenance, somehow they broke my truck. <clears throat> and they broke the sensor in my seat. And apparently that's connected to a whole lot of crazy stuff in the computer to let it know that, yeah, I'm sitting in the seat and driving. I... have never even thought about that but uh, it's not something that breaks or fails very often so of course they didn't have the part in stock and it was something they had to order so before uh, I took it in for the maintenance and took it back to Suffolk and found out it was broken ended up taking to Freightliner in Suffolk and there it sat and it got to the point where I didn't have enough time to take another load up and back before my scheduled time off. So I just left a day early and came home. And it's been good. I've been hanging out with the family. Uh, I've been enjoying my time off. Uh, unfortunately, kind of hit a little snag with that too. Um, <laughs> basically, everybody's got COVID. Uh, what ended up happening is, uh, the littlest one goes to daycare and she had a classmate who had it and it kind of spread throughout the, the class and a number of people got it. And of course the little one brought it home and pretty much all of us have been feeling crappy all weekend. We couldn't figure out why until we got the call this morning tell us what's going on so yeah pretty much everybody in the household is feeling wiped out and tired and all that good stuff the kids seem to be handling it better than the adults <laughs> kids are still running around playing and having a good time uh, us adults are all feeling like we, we need to lay down and take some naps it's not severe but it's got everybody kind of down Kind of batteries are drained. And, of course, I called my company and let them know what's going on. And, you know, per policy, I, I'm quarantined for a few days. And then uh, when I get back, I'm going to have to wear a mask for a few days. And, uh, yeah. So it's complicated things a little bit. My truck is still sitting in the shop. Supposedly it's fixed now. So when I do go back, uh, basically all I got to do is get over there, pick up my truck, and then bring it back to the target and get back on the road. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to be stuck wearing a mask for a little while until I can fully get over all of this. Not a big deal. Um... Like I said, right now it's mostly just everybody's kind of feeling down and drained. I'm having some additional issues, especially at night, laying down. I have some uh, shortness of breath issues, which I thought I was just dealing with, you know, allergens. Because being here in North Carolina, it's, as you can see behind me, 
lots and lots of pollen and flowers and all kinds of stuff. I thought I was dealing with, you know, allergy type stuff. It's not. So anyway, uh, that's about that, really. Money-wise, things are going well. Um, I'm on target for the year so far. Not gonna. It doesn't look good as far as getting ahead of the game much this year, um, because of all the additional downtime that I've had due to the economy and the slowdown. So, you know, I'm still struggling to try to get ahead before winter gets here. And it's not that far off, actually. And it's already July. Um, we're going to start seeing kind of problematic weather, I should say, uh, in the near future. Uh, mostly I'm having issues with wind more so than frozen. I get shut down more often for wind than I do for frozen roads. So that's going to kind of take a bite out of my money, and I know it. So I'm trying to kind of get a little bit ahead. Uh, everything else pretty much is on track. Um, my stock market's taking a beating. All this uh, nonsense that's going on with the federal government. You know, it's still continuing. This is something that should have already been kind of turning the corner and starting to straight out, but they're not straightening out. Yeah, we haven't suffered enough for our government to be happy. So they're stretching it out. And if it continues much longer, we're going to start seeing layoffs at jobs. I mean, we're already seeing companies deciding to cut back instead of expand. Um, a lot of companies had made pretty good strides throughout the COVID situation to get things back under control and moving forward and had planned on expanding and their biggest problem was supply uh, not only materials but people but they had the capital to start trying to expand their businesses that's being taken away and we're still having employee shortage we're still having a little bit of supply shortages. Um, so it's not recovering very quickly. And now companies, instead of planning on expansions, are holding what they got and starting to consider cutbacks. Because if this continues, they're going to have to start cutting back to uh, keep it the operating costs uh, that they have now. So, of course, that affects the stock market. Uh, last time I looked earlier this morning, I was down almost 15%. And anybody that, you know, that's got any kind of money in savings, if you were to take 15% of their money away, they're, they're not going to be very happy, obviously. But I do have faith. I do have faith. Uh, our economic sector can take a beating and it, I mean, it always comes back. It does. It always comes back. Um, right now, the especially the crypto market is still under attack. Um, anybody who's following that crypto, the Bitcoin, it was at 47, almost 48,000 per coin. And last time I looked, it was like 19,400. So it has taken a massive beating. I got about, I don't know, about $1,500 in loss right there just for Bitcoin. That hurts. But again, I, I, I have a strong feeling it's going to come back uh, somewhat. I don't know if it's going to go all the way back to, to what it was, but I have a feeling it's going to recover some. So I have to deal with that and figure my way out of that one try to take as little bit of loss as possible but the rest of my stocks have been you know down but it's also been an opportunity for me to buy 
uh, at a discount rate. So I have made a few strides on uh, getting my cost down on my investments and getting a better price so that when it does go back up, I'll be in the good. I'll, I will make some additional profits off of that. And I've been focusing on dividends. So um, right now I'm running somewhere around $140 a month coming in off of dividends. You know, I need to multiply that by like 10, but that's going to take a lot of time and a lot of investing and getting into the right stocks that uh, pay out good dividends. But that's, that's the game plan. You know, if Social Security gets straightened out by a simple tax increase, um, then I'll have Social Security plus my dividend payments that I get every month. I should be able to uh, make pretty good bank on that so that when I do retire overseas, I'll have a, a decent budget. Anyway, uh, that's about it, really. Nothing really more to uh, expand on at the moment. I just know it's been a couple of weeks since I've posted something, so I figure I better put something out there. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, you know, if you got anybody out there that might be interested in this kind of content and stuff, you know, share it with them. You know, like, subscribe, share the whole bit. Um, you guys take care. Be careful out there. Uh, sadly, this stupid COVID stuff still floating around. So take care of yourselves. And, you know, remember always the, the whole wash your hands bit as much as possible. And uh, stay safe. So we'll see you guys in the next video.